today's video, 3D printing video, you're gonna get my mug. Because <laughs> honestly, I don't really have any uh, prints to show you. Um, basically, I've, I've had some problems. Uh, a love-hate relationship with this printer, uh, Solid Doodle Press. And right now, I think I've got it some consistency and uh, it's starting to become more reliable. But uh, for the, at least the past two to three weeks out of a month, um, I've been having struggles. Successes, struggles, successes, struggles. So what I'm gonna do is, um, <clears throat> I'm just too lazy to put up a, a nicely cut edited video since actually this is not something I really, <laughs> I'm kind of just learning and experiencing right now. I'm just gonna mention a, a list of five things that I'm encountering that have actually either prevented me from printing or has resulted in partial prints. Uh, and from that point on, I'm gonna go ahead and create a video of each each issue and what I've done to resolve it as best as I could. Some of them are pretty uh, pretty obvious that came around. Some of them were a little bit more coincidental. Uh, so here are the five. Uh, the wire bundle jam. I actually did a video earlier that resolved it partially. I found another video online. Someone used a rubber band. I've gone that route. It's pretty good. Uh, but I've also encountered another wire jam issue, which leads to the second issue that I have is where the extruder crashes into the bed. Uh, and, at, and at least in my situation, it is because of the wire jamming in the X direction. So that's number two. Three uh, is the, um, the bed malfunctioning. Uh, that's something dealing with uh, the connector on one of the um, stepper motors and uh, definitely not something that was obvious uh, it was a little bit uh, well I, I don't even know how I found it uh, I think it was maybe a crinkled wire that I just happened to play around with and saw while I was kind of just brainstorming what issues what I could do to resolve it uh, fourth is the filament feeder that one I've actually seen online a few people have had those problems in my case uh, it was not a loose grub screw or a screw that's actually tightened to the uh, the axle. It uh, actually it's another one that dealt with the connectors. I think there's something wrong with these connectors on the uh, on these uh, these first runs. But uh, I'll make a video of that and and show the specific situation. I think that one was more of a frayed wire. And the last is the X. I'm sorry, the Y axis. And that one, <coughs> I do have visuals. So this right here, this is a TARDIS uh, that I found on Thingiverse. Uh, this is a successful print, but for the past one to two weeks, I've been getting these funky things. So for some reason, it was shifting in the Y axis after you know going maybe about a half an inch. And here's another one. Now this one went up a little bit further up, uh, but the problem is, is you don't know uh, when it's gonna fail. So, you know, this is like an hour, two hours of printing before you find out that you just wasted time and, and material. So finally, I've been able to get these, which is very consistent. I think I've resolved it, I think. Um, but, uh, you know, at the moment I'm pretty happy, I'm stoked. I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, I will say that, you know, Solid Doodle Press is a great machine when it's working great, but when it's not, it can be challenging. So, uh, again, uh, this list of issues that I've just mentioned, these are gonna be my future videos. Uh, and uh, hopefully, you know, it'll, it'll help other people out uh, that may be encountering the same things. If you are uh, encountering the similar problems that I am and, uh, you know, if you want to leave a comment, uh, then I can, I can definitely work on those videos first and hopefully get you to pass those obstacles. But for now, thanks for watching. I appreciate it and have a great day.